I have had workforces made up of boomers, Gen Xers, Gen Yers, or millennials, and Gen Zers. I have seen very hard workers. I've also seen not very hard workers. Don't assume that just because someone is from a different generation than you, that they're going to be lazier, or that they're going to be more uptight and less understanding. They have different world experiences. They might have more awareness to things than you do. That doesn't make them more likely to succeed or less likely to succeed. Millennials and Generation Z are some of the most aware generations ever. They have everything in front of them and they're handed all this information. I don't have to choose to absorb information. I have to choose to shut it off and not absorb it. Hyper aware, anxiety, depression, ADHD. They were told as children, you have a problem. They well, I have anxiety. How, how are you working through that? Well, I'm not. I'm telling you so you can work around it. They're aware of their issues, but they're not willing to work past them. They want you to work past them. I've also had the opposite experience. Younger millennials and Gen Zers work for me. Very high level of anxiety, but they have come into the customer service job, the telephone support job, the help desk role, because they recognize they have anxiety and they want to fight through that anxiety. But it became less and less of an issue and they're able to handle the anxiety because of the job that they took. I think sometimes older generations, baby boomers, Gen X, maybe even older millennials tend to view this awareness as weakness, laziness. Everyone deals with these things. You're just being weak in the face of adversity. You might have anxiety. You might know you have anxiety. You might know you have ADHD, but that's not what defines you. It also doesn't define your value. Your, your paycheck doesn't define your value. Your job doesn't define who you are and your value. If you're letting your anxiety define who you are, I don't care what generation you are, you're going to have a difficult time. I've had repeated panic attacks while on the job. What can I do to help myself deal with this anxiety so I can be there for my employees, for my customers, for my company? I want to be there in order to help others. I try to push through it to be there for others. At their core, baby boomers, Gen Xers, probably more similar to the Zoomers and the Millennials than they are different. Baby Boomers were called the me generation. They were defined as narcissistic by those older than them. Potentially, maybe they have the exact same anxiety issues, the exact same depression issues, but they grew up undiagnosed. They internalize them and they expect others to deal with them. I'm not going to change who I am for you. Millennials and Zers are doing the exact same thing. They just know what their issues are. They may expect others to handle them with care because it's how I am. Both of these groups are saying, you need to work around me because this is how I am. Both of these groups tend to have a lack of respect for the older generations because they haven't had to face adversity like they've had. Boomers and Generation Xers may have pushed through adversity and ignored their issues. Millennials and Gen Zers make a choice to let that issue define them or to recognize what the issue is so they can use it to their advantage and work through it.